Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 is equal to 120. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. Since this 1 plus 4, 1 plus 4 is equal to 5, this 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So we combine these two terms uh, x plus 1 and uh, x plus 4 and we combine these two terms uh, x plus 2 and uh, x plus 3. So this will become x plus 1 times uh, x plus 4 times uh, x plus 2 times uh, x plus uh, 3 is equal to 120. Now we expand these two terms, uh, this will become x times x, x squared, x times 4 plus uh, 4x, plus uh, 1 times x, x and 1 times 4 plus 4, times, uh, we expand these two terms, uh, x times x will become x squared, x times 3 plus uh, 3x, 2 times x plus 2x and the 2 times 3 will become plus 6 is equal to 120. Next x squared plus 4x plus x will become 5 times x plus this 4 times x squared this is 3x plus 2x will become plus uh, 5 times x and uh, we can write this 6 as uh, plus uh, 4 plus 2 is equal to 120. We suppose that uh, x squared plus uh, 5 times x plus uh, 4 is equal to t. So this equation will become t times uh, t plus 2 is equal to 120. Now this t times t will become t squared and t times 2 plus 2t two is equal to 120. Move this 120 to the left hand side this will become t squared plus uh, 2 times t minus 120 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this uh, t squared and we split this uh, 2 times t as uh, negative 10 times t plus uh, 12 times t minus 120 is equal to 0. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out t. In bracket left, uh, t minus 10. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out uh, plus uh, 12. In bracket left, uh, t minus 10 is equal to 0. And this t minus 10 is a common factor, so we factor out this uh, t minus 10. And, uh, in bracket left t plus 12 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression t minus 10 is equal to 0 or this expression t plus 12 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 10. And uh, from this equation, we get the value of t is equal to negative 12. Now, recall that we have supposed, we have supposed that x squared plus uh, 5x plus 4 is equal to t. We have supposed that uh, x squared plus uh, 5 times x plus uh, 4 is equal to t. 
70 is equal to 10 then this equation will become x squared plus uh, 5 times x plus uh, 4 is equal to 10 and when t is equal to negative 12 then this equation will become x squared plus uh, 5 times x plus uh, 4 is equal to negative 12. Now from this equation we move this uh, 10 to the left hand side. So this will become x squared plus uh, 5 times x plus uh, 4 minus 10 is equal to 0 and uh, x squared plus uh, 5 times x this uh, 4 minus 10 will become negative 6 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this uh, x uh, squared. We split this uh, 5 times x as uh, plus uh, 6 times x minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out x. In bracket left uh, x plus uh, 6. And from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 1 in bracket left uh, x plus uh, 6 is equal to 0. Now this x plus 6 is a common factor so we factor out this uh, x plus uh, 6. And, uh, in bracket left uh, this x and this negative 1. In bracket left uh, x minus 1 is equal to 0. From here either this expression x plus uh, 6 is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to negative 6. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to 1. Now from the second equation we move this uh, negative 12 to the left hand side. So this will become x squared plus uh, 5 times x plus uh, 4 plus 12 is equal to 0. And uh, x squared plus uh, 5 times x, uh, 4 plus 12 will become plus uh, 16 is equal to 0. This quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, we have a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 5 and c is equal to 16. And, uh, according to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b is 5 plus minus the square root of in place of b squared we write uh, 5 squared minus 4 times uh, a is 1 times uh, c is uh, 16 divided by 2 times a is 1 and uh, x is equal to negative 5 plus minus square root of this uh, 5 squared is uh, 25 negative 4 times 1 times 16 will become negative 64 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to negative 5 plus minus uh, square root of 25 minus 64 will become negative 39 divided by 2 and x is equal to negative 5 plus minus this square root of negative 39 can be written as root negative 1 times root 39 divided by 2 and x is equal to negative 5 plus minus this uh, root negative 1 will become i times uh, root 39 divided by 2. So from here we get other two values of x is equal to negative 5 plus uh, i times uh, root 39 over 2 and x is equal to negative 5 minus 
i times the root 39 divided by 2 and first we found the value of x1 x is equal to 1 and negative 6 x is equal to negative 6 so we have uh, four solutions of this equation 1 negative 6 negative 5 plus i times the root 39 over 2 and negative 5 minus i times root 39 over 2